Hey guys, I'm Nick, and on this episode of The Scrand Line, this is a super special episode because we've reached 300,000 subscribers on this channel. I'm so grateful to you guys for subscribing, for all of the love and support and the lovely comments you guys leave every week. So to celebrate, as promised, here is my first cake in a very long time. I'm super excited and a little bit nervous to share it with you guys, but I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Now I'd love for you guys, after you've watched this video, to leave a comment down below telling me do you love the cake videos do you want to see more and what flavors do you want to see me make next let's get stuck into the recipe okay guys so today we've popped away our stand mixer i'm going to show you guys how to make this cake with a hand mixer so we're going to pop all of our dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl mix those on low speed until everything is well combined next you're going to add your softened butter and mix that until it reaches a crumbly sand like texture now guys, it's super important to make sure that your butter is very soft. Next, you're gonna add your milk, eggs, oil. I'm using some bubblegum essence, but you can use any kind of fun essence you like. We're gonna add some Greek yogurt to keep our cakes moist. And then we're gonna whisk that up until our butter is nice and smooth. I've split my butter into seven bowls evenly. We're gonna color each one the color of the rainbow. So yellow, pink, purple, blue, red, and orange. I've got an eight inch cake tin. I've actually got three of them, but you can do this with one. It will take a little bit longer though. Spray each of your tins with oil really well. We're gonna line the bottom with some baking paper. You're gonna smooth it out with the end of a spoon or a little spatula like I'm doing. And we're gonna bake these for about 20 minutes on 160 degrees Celsius. Now guys, let's move on to making our white chocolate spheres and these are so much fun to make. So I'm using different colored chocolate melts. You can use any color you like. We're gonna microwave these to melt them and then we're gonna add one tablespoon of coconut oil, which has been melted and mix that through the chocolate really, really well. If you don't wanna use coconut oil, you can use vegetable oil. Now I've got these really, really cool sphere molds. I grabbed them online. I'll leave the details in the recipe. We're gonna splatter them with each colored chocolate. If you choose your own different colors, keep it to three colors. Otherwise it starts to look a little bit messy. Now I've got some little molds as well and we're just gonna do the same thing. Once they've set, you wanna pour some white chocolate in there Use the back of a spoon to kind of spread that chocolate around the mold and then turn the mold over to get rid of any of the excess chocolate into a baking dish. Then we're gonna pop them back into the fridge to set completely. Now guys, once these are set, they should pop out of the mold fairly easily. To stick these spheres together, we're just going to pop one half of the sphere onto a warm fry pan. Then you wanna pop that onto the other half. Now, if there's any excess chocolate, just run your finger around and get rid of that excess chocolate. You wanna pop these aside in the fridge, let them set completely, and we're gonna move on to decorating our cake. So once you've let your cakes cool completely, the decorating part, guys, is my favorite part of making cakes. I've got a cake turntable here, and these things, you can grab them from a cake supply store. You can grab them online as well. I'm gonna pop a damp kitchen cloth on top of that, followed by my cake board. We're gonna add a dab of buttercream frosting on top of that before we add our first layer of cake. Now you can put the layers of cake in any color order that you like. Just make sure it goes in the order of the rainbow. So you wanna make sure you press down that cake really, really well, get it stuck on there. We're going to pipe some buttercream frosting around if you don't want to pipe, you can just spread it on with a small spatula. Then you want to repeat the process with the next layer of cake. Press it down, frost. Once you've popped your last layer of cake on there, we're going to crumb coat this cake. So crumb coating ensures that it catches all of the crumbs from the cake. So when you pop your next layer of frosting on, it's nice and clean and there's no random crumbs stuck in it. Now guys, this can be nice and rough. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Once you've coated the cake and gotten into all of those grooves and filled everything, you wanna pop it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to chill. 
Now we're gonna pop our second layer of frosting on. I'm piping that on. And then I'm just gonna go around with a spatula. You wanna make sure that you really stick that frosting on. Now I'm gonna use a handy tool called a cake scraper. And it's actually gonna help scrape excess frosting off and get our frosting nice and smooth. Now guys, keep in mind, I'm gonna get much better at doing this, so I will show you much easier ways of doing this. But for this cake, I kind of worked it until it was nice and smooth. Now, once you go around the first time, you just wanna patch up those little holes and random bubbles with a little bit more frosting, and then go around and kind of keep doing that until you have a nice, smooth frosting. We're going to scrape the top as well and then pop this back into the fridge to chill for another 30 minutes. Now guys, we're gonna let our inner kindergarten kid back out again because we're gonna splatter that chocolate from earlier on onto the outside of the cake. You can go nuts on this. Try not to go too nuts though, otherwise again, it will look really messy. And I know it kind of has to look messy, that's the whole point. But if you go too hard on the chocolate, it will kind of lose the effect of having a splattered paint effect. To stick your spheres on top of the cake, you're going to add a dab of white chocolate on top and then stick it onto the cake, let it set, and guys, this is my first cake. I hope you guys enjoy it. The inside of it looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. Okay guys, so that was my Celebrate Good Times cake. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Now guys, if you want to see more cake videos, don't forget to hit the like button. It will let me know that you guys love these videos and that you want more from me. If you want to make this cake, you're going to find the recipe on my website, thesarainline.com. I've left the link for that in the box below, but I've also left the ingredients in the description box below as well for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys love this. Thank you again for 300,000 subscribers. It is incredible. I love you guys. You guys allow me to do what I love. Um, so I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Scram Line.